In the depths of the Atlantic Ocean, there lurks a creature that's as funny-looking as it is fascinating the Atlantic wolf fish. This odd-looking fish is a master of disguise, blending in with its surroundings to catch its unsuspecting prey. But its appearance is just one aspect of its unique characteristics. Join us as we dive deep into the world of the Atlantic wolf fish and discover why it's truly a one-of-a-kind creature. The first thing you'll notice about the Atlantic wolf fish is its unforgettable face. With its bulging eyes, sharp teeth, and fleshy lips, it's hard not to find this fish funny-looking, but those unusual features serve a purpose. The large eyes help the fish see in the dark depths of the ocean, while the sharp teeth allow it to tear through the flesh of its prey. And those fleshy lips? They help protect the teeth when the Atlantic wolf fish closes its mouth, preventing any accidental injuries. But it's not just the face of the Atlantic wolf fish that sets it apart. Its body is equally unique. Covered in bumpy scales, the fish resembles a prehistoric creature from the depths of time. Its long, slender body allows it to navigate through narrow crevices in search of its next meal. And with its powerful pectoral fins, it can swim swiftly and silently, surprising its prey before they even have a chance to react. One of the most interesting aspects of the Atlantic wolf fish is its ability to change colours. Like a chameleon of the sea, it can alter its skin tone to blend in with its surroundings. This camouflage technique is essential for hunting, as it allows the fish to sneak up on its prey without being detected. It's truly a marvel of natural adaptation. But what does the Atlantic wolf fish eat? Well, it's not a picky eater at all. It will consume anything it can fit in its mouth, from smaller fish to crabs, shrimps, and even other wolf fish. Its voracious appetite and sharp teeth make it a formidable predator in its underwater domain. One might assume that the Atlantic wolf fish is a solitary creature, but that's not entirely true. They do gather in small groups during mating season, engaging in courtship rituals that involve flashing their vibrant colours to attract a mate. Once a pair is formed, they will actively defend their territory, protecting their eggs until they hatch. It's a rare glimpse into the complex social behaviour of these fascinating creatures.